Let's begin with Power City. You know, for more than eight months, nearly 600 union workers have been locked out of the ExxonMobil refinery in downtown Beaumont. And during this time, many petitions have circulated to remove the union from representing workers. Now, a vote took place with the National Labor Relations Board, and those votes got impounded on December 29th. The NLRB says that they need time to investigate claims of unfair labor practices by both the union and the company. But what led to that decision? New information 12 News obtained through open records shed some light on what went down. 12 News reporter James Grant dug through the documents. James is live tonight. What can you tell us uh, about the pending charges and how they're impacting contract talks? Yeah, Letitia Jordan, I filed a Freedom of Information request to the National Labor Relations Board to find out more about what each side is saying. Now, there have been two charges filed by the union against Exxon and one charge filed by the decertification group against the union. All of these allegations filed with the National Labor Relations Board are centered around one main issue, unfair labor practices. The first complaint was filed on September 30th. Members of a group who want to decertify the union filed charges against the union, saying, quote, its officers, agents, and representatives have restrained and coerced employees. Then on October 4th, locked out workers filed the petition to decertify. That's when union workers were asked to vote yes or no to keeping the union. Those votes Votes would later be impounded. And then in December, the union filed two charges against ExxonMobil, saying the company violated the National Labor Relations Act by promising to return the employees to work if they decertified from the local union, and also saying the company wasn't providing them necessary information. We're working through those. I, um, you know, it's, some of it takes some time, and then uh, I can tell you that the charges that's been filed by that group in the past have all been either withdrawn or, or uh, thrown out, you know, for no merit. Right now, a count of the decertification votes cannot be conducted until all three of these cases are investigated. What they rule on as far as our charges against the company can make a difference. Gross says he doesn't believe the charges filed should affect any potential contract talks. The oil giant and union met late last week, but were unable to reach a deal. And Gross says the union doesn't have a meeting scheduled with Exxon yet this week, but he's hopeful the two sides can come to the table again soon. Live in Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News.